is producing oil in North Dakota. My wife is from Ecuador, which is an OPEC member, and North Dakota, thanks to the, the resources in the Bakken or Willison Basin, uh, is has moved, I think, into third place in, uh, among the states, 400,000 barrels per day, which is about comparable to, uh, to Ecuador's production, and that is mainly uh, an oil play. I, I want to get back to Andy's response here. He mentioned refrac <coughs> uh, refracking or refracturing. Uh, the, the shale com really contains enormous deposits of, of hydrocarbons. It's too bad, by the way, that Bob Chase is not here this morning. Uh, uh, he's at Marietta College. Marietta College <coughs> is the largest undergraduate program in petroleum engineering and geology east of the Mississippi River. So this is really quite a resource, and Bob himself is a resource, and he could he could talk to you about the dimensions of, of, of the shale. As I understand it, no more than uh, then 10 percent of the hydrocarbons originally in the shale have migrated out or generally upwards into limestone, sandstone, other uh, <coughs> deposits that are more easily exploited. So there are still lots and lots of fossil fuels down there. Uh, uh, exploitation of these deep shales only started about in 2001 with the Barnett play in North Texas. It extends into Fort Worth and uh, uh, refracturing is starting to happen there. It, it turns out that when you sink a well and and unlock the resources with hydraulic fracturing, you get no more than five percent of the hydrocarbons uh, for that one one fracking. And then you have the decline, as Irina has discussed, as Andy has discussed. But people are going back in and refracking that same Barnett deposit, and the results the second time around, at least, are about the same. Because again, you're uh, uh, even with fracking, you're, you're leaving 95, 98 percent of the fossil fuels still there. They're still there, and so you can go back. So this this means this is more like a more like a, a, a fossil fuel factory than than a deposit as we conventionally think of these. Yeah, there are two maps in the report that might be helpful, and in the presentation, Arane has added another map from Bob. <laughs> and we're going to have to cut it off. Um, the full study is available online at our website. Um, it's on the the uh, Piece that you have there. We welcome your uh, attention to that and any questions that you have, the researchers are listed on the side and feel free to contact them. If there's anything that you need from me, feel free to contact me. We're glad that you joined us today. We're now going to take them in so that they can make a presentation on this to the full membership of the Ohio Shield Coalition.